good morning good afternoon or good evening depending on where you're watching us from and welcome back to our channel guys and today i'm coming to you from i don't know where i think this place is called nacho nacho is uh between i would say kajiado kikuyu nakuru and why i'm here is another story and I've seen something very, very spectacular. And I'm at point number 51 on a pipeline. Here, there's a pipeline running here, supplying fuel all the way from Mombasa towards Eldoret and Kisumu. And also, we have high tension leads that supply power all the way from Jinja towards Nairobi and also there's a standard gauge railway running across there and there's a bypass also from there with all these spectacular views we are happy to be alive inside this beautiful world and look at that guys I hope you will hear that buzz or that sound You'd think it's crickets, but it's the high power or high tension leads humming away. It's full of uh, power. And if you, are, if you touch any of those, I bet you'll be cake or powder. So guys, today I'm going to Eldoret. And uh, I got stuck in traffic that has been, I would say, uh, been between Kimende and, uh, should you say Kimende? towards Naivasha and also I tried another route which was uh, Mutarakwa towards Mahimayu and I wanted to visit the old church with you the smallest church in Africa but I call it and here we are guys so let's go and have a look at what we will be seeing today there's an old bird flying away there so it's very very cold we're in July and uh, this place is very very cold guys as you can see it's very very cloudy all there and this is the power line let's go and see if we are able to showcase to you the standard gauge railway down the road guys let's go so let's try and see if we can cross here oh, wow lots of humming sound here because uh, yeah, it looks like this is a, this is a uh, security guy's chase. Yeah, so here is where the railway crosses or goes underground. Let's see what we can be able to see from here. Lots of humming, by the way. There is a standard gauge railway that starts from Ngong going towards Suswa over there which is where we are headed after encountering the traffic I think we can gain our way to be able to see the railway, fan gauge railway down there let's try and see What a world, guys. What a beautiful world. Lucky to be alive to see this, guys. So, why not? Let's continue our journey. See you on the other side.
guys, we are still on the road. And that is Suswa, the famous Suswa. The SGR travels to the train station down there. I think that is the railway. And I think we'll continue with our journey. And uh, since I made it to Eldoret, I'll now take a... Instead of going that way, we'll go that way towards Mahi Mahiu. And I think I'll go and have my breakfast there as we enjoy this beautiful world. This place is famous for sand harvesting. It's very flat and it's known to flood when it rains. So let's go and enjoy and see where we'll grab our breakfast. on the road guys but I saw something very spectacular that has been here for ages that I decided to show you and that is the Longonot Earth Station guys here is where a while back before introduction of uh, fiber technology this is where all our international calls used to terminate to or I would say this was a terminating station it was a routing station for all our international calls. I bet right now none of them is working. It's been dilapidated. But it is indeed a critical part in our communication history. And that is or long or not at station as you go towards there, which is Mahimahio. So guys, at long last, we're in Akuru after I would say a very unexpected turn of events, the traffic that uh, happened in, uh, I would say, Kimende and the escarpment area leading to us doing a lot of detours. But at long last, we're here. I'm in Westside Mall and I intend to go in and buy one or two, three things for the babies. So guys, let's go together and see what we can buy them. And I would say the biggest contributor of the traffic was, I would say, the human element. The Kenyan way of either my way or highway or no way. Yeah, it took toll on us guys. So let's go in and see what you can buy for the babies. Yeah, it's very, very busy as usual. Weekend times. It's very, very busy in the weekend over here. Yep. It's one of the biggest malls in Nakuru. Inside Naivas, what side mall in Nakuru, guys? One of the most convenient markets to be in a cool guy, so you only really pass by here to grab one, two, three things.
Yeah, we always pick crisps for the babies. They love it. Still good for their age, of course. Some of us, it's a no no. Yeah. Yeah, a routine that we really do every day we go home to make sure that the babies have something. Yeah. Very specific yoga that I usually come to take for my son. He loves it. I don't know if it's here today. Loves coffee flavor, but not here today, guys. So, it's like I'll take the nearest chocolate. I think I'll take one for the road, also for me. Yeah, keep putting me pineapple. So, see you shortly, guys. Shopping done. Time to check out of the mall, guys. So, today I'm really grateful for you guys coming to watch our videos. For those who are not subscribed, please consider clicking that subscribe button. And for those who always come back, please thank you. I say thank you, and we'll always give you. I would say the best content ever. And today, guys, I'll take you on my way to Elbert, a very special place that I'll shortly show you. So be sure to watch from the beginning to the end. We are the basement here, guys. So let's get going. Hope it's not that dark. <laughs> so let's go to a very special place in Salga where we had an incident. Yeah, somebody's hooting. We should Kenyan way. So Guys, today I'll take you with me to a very special place in Salga where there's a memorial for a fire incident. And let's go and see what happened, what we might learn, and celebrate the lives that were lost. So see you shortly, and thank you for watching our content, guys. So guys, we are in Salga. Salga, I would say, is the unofficial uh, pit stop for trucks. And... Uh, for any truck flying between Mombasa, to Congo, and to Uganda, this is usually the checkpoint for nearly all the trucks. It is centrally located in Kenya, past Nakuru, and uh, every truck driver, I would say, knows this place. They stop here. I would say the government would do better if they would uh, make this an official truck or trucking stop point where they would refit fuel have their trucks checked but anyway as Kenyans we make things happen as you can see town is full of trucks guys and there are more traveling that's our destination guys where we'll be going to see the Sachang one fire incident and before I forget Salga is a Kalenjin word that has two meanings Salga can mean paint home or make it better or praise home and now you know the meaning of Salga, guys. So, many drivers stop by here to refit, of course, to chill and to get their trucks checked and to get the fuel filled. And also, there are many other businesses that happen here that I won't mention here today. So, let's go, guys. The rains are really pounding that area. And I hope we'll be able to blow, guys. But it is what it is. And let's really enjoy as we travel that way and our home that way guys that side guys so let's enjoy the travels let's marvel on what we have and uh, yeah it is a good day indeed to be alive so let's get going guys as the rains are about to pound and see what is there lots of trucks right, guys
Yes, so let's go guys and see what we want to see in such a one where there was a, a disastrous incident that led to lots of loss of lives around this neighborhood to Molo, Molo area guys. So let's go and get to see guys. So guys, it has decided to rain cats and dogs as you can see over there. Yes, but as we say, rains are a sign of blessings. So today we are in a very sacred place, I would say very, very key place, for an incident that happened in the year 2009 that led to loss of lots of life. And this is the plaque that uh, was erected in commemoration of the loss of the 130 victims that lost their lives. Yeah, for the loss of, uh, as you can see here, it was loss of lives for three for seven victims here and their names are written here it was a very sad day for the community around here where young men and women were lost due to a fire tragedy incident and what happened is a tanker overturned right here and young men from the nearby communities decided to come and uh, get I would say fuel to be able to sell to trucks and vehicles. However, uh, the truck caught fire and many people lost their lives and the remains were buried here. And as you travel on this road guys, you can see there are many trucks passing by there. As you travel by here, please stop by to commemorate these lives that were lost, you can see. There is not single tribe here, but all of us, you can see there is Awambui there, in Andungu, there is Omare, there is Kiputo, there is uh, Kebene, Gikundu. So many lives are lost. It was a learning moment for the people around here. We know there is scarcity. However, when there is scarcity, also let's be very careful to make sure we guard the lives that we have. And guys, it's raining cats and dogs here. The month is July, where we don't essentially get lots of rains. However, we believe that the rains have changed, rain patterns have changed. And now we have lots of rains coming in. But this is good for the farming community, like me. Good for the grass, for our goats and sheep. And yes, we thank God for everything, guys. So let's really enjoy. Let's thank God for the life that we have. I'm here today. I feel the moment. I I feel for the parents who lost their young ones. I feel for the brothers and sisters who lost their siblings and for the community who lost nearly a generation. As you can see, the young people are agitating for better lives. Let's support them also in the best way and pray for their wisdom also at the same time. So, I wish I could take you with me on the burial site, but it's raining. So I think we'll continue our journey as we go towards home, which is Eldoret. And let's be safe and see you shortly before we get home, guys. So guys, and we are here at the equator line, guys. And you know, in life, we need to thank God for many things. One of the things that uh, we thank God for is I cross, or one of the things that I thank God for is the fact that I'm able to cross the equator on a regular basis. How many of you have been able to cross the equator line? And here we are, guys, at the equator in Timboroa. I know you guys might have been chanting in school some songs about Timboroa, but today, allow me to show you the equator line in Timboroa, guys. Timboroa was a colloquial or Kalenji name meaning Timdaboroa, meaning this all this place was full of a forest that had vines. So it's a forest full of vines, which is Timboroa. And in Timboroa, as you can see here, we have the zero zero line, the equator. And I think for fun's sake, I would ask one of you or each of you to 
differentiate or tell me is the equator line a latitude or a longitude is the equator line a latitude or a longitude put it on the comment section guys and i'll tell you the answer shortly so the equator is a line that divides the earth into two equal parts and they say many things happen when you cross the equator like the needle of the compass remains straight along the equator and i think one day we find a place where they can demonstrate to us that action of the compass so we are lucky that uh, here within the western gishu in kenya we have the equator and this line goes straight up to nanyuki so i can tell you without fear of doubt that nanyuki is that way so what are the benefits of living within the equator guys as you can see i'm in the highway full of trucks full of cars guys running and rushing around to go and do their need food, which is either going home transporting luggage and merchandise like that yeah so the benefits of living within the equator guys are many and one of them that i'll tell you is we enjoy very nice weather which is good amount of daylight which is 12 hours day 12 hours night and we get very good rains and as you can see we're in a very green environment that means we flourish by having animals that are healthy human beings that are healthy and we produce athletes that's the second probably why we produce athletes is the equator line and the fact that we come from a high altitude area so with that i'll give you also another hack of differentiating between a latitude and a longitude and the equator is an attitude how i manage to differentiate or a hack that i use is long is along longitude lat is across latitude and with that i think we'll end our video here guys and thank you for always coming back to watch our content today has been a travel video just enjoying the sights and sounds of course in life you take a break sometimes from whatever you do and you enjoy yourself those are some friends that I made uh, here. They were taking nice photos. Of course, let's make friends and let's enjoy and have a good one. I would say happy days, happy you, happy all of us. And that we live in an app. Thank you and see you in our next episode, guys.